Alrighty guys, Battlefield made a huge announcement today regarding the new Battlefield 6 that we are all excited for and waiting to see. In this article, they made a lot of interesting points and we're going to be breaking down to the most important points that you need to know and what it all means. Starting it off, Battlefield 6 is said to be the return of All Out Warfare. That means we're going to be getting not only infantry on the ground, we're going to be getting tanks, we're going to be getting helicopters, and we're going to be getting jets. It's going to be all of it, all together, and lots of destruction. Now this was posted by Oscar Gabrielson, that's the general manager at DICE, and DICE is the main studio working on Battlefield. Now, in this announcement, they mentioned that they're going to be working with more world-class development studios within Electronic Arts. They have one of the biggest teams ever working on a Battlefield game for console and PC. So, this just means more content, or it could also mean that they're making sure that this is a perfected game, and they're going to be finding all the things for a quality of life game to make it as enjoyable as possible, regardless whatever way they take, that is what we want. This is what we've been asking for. A battlefield which gives us the full all-out experience, no bugs on day one, really polished, just an enjoyable experience, and lots of content as the months go by. At least that's the message I'm getting when they mention that a lot of studios are working on this, especially considering they've had three years to work on this title. Now, more importantly, our friends at Criterion and Dice LA are working with us on our shared vision for the game, while the team in Gothenburg is taking technology in the game to the next level. That right there means the Gothenburg team is working on the Frostbite engine. They're going to be doing some next level destruction, some next level effects, some next level just any cool eye candy that you can think of to make your gameplay experience to be better. That's more than likely what the Gothenburg team is doing. They are perfecting the engine. Now, let's be honest, one of the best destructions we've seen and we've been craving for is that in Bad Company 2, when you can just take down an entire building after blowing enough holes into the walls. So hopefully, we're going to be getting a lot more micro destruction where you can punch holes through walls and shoot at enemies like we've seen in Bad Company 2, and a lot of massive destruction, and maybe some scripted Levolution events that don't really hinder the gameplay experience. Andy mentions, together we are creating a jaw-dropping experience for you to enjoy later in 2021. That's got to be what I just talked about. The micro-destruction, the massive destruction, the all-out warfare, and just a fun experience. He also mentions we're in daily playtest mode right now, polishing, balancing, and making the best possible Battlefield game we can. That's a really good thing to hear, especially considering the past Battlefields have started kind of rough. Battlefield 4 started really rough and needed a CTE to be repaired. Battlefield 5 started rough and was really hard to get out of it. And honestly, I think as a player base craving for a new game, you don't want your hype and expectations to be diminished right off of day one because of game breaking bugs or just things that just make the game feel like it's working against you. Another important thing to note is he says it has everything we'd love about Battlefield and takes all of it to the next level. Epic scale, all-out military warfare, crazy, unexpected moments, game-changing destruction, massive battles packed with more players and mayhem than ever before. Now that is a really big statement to make, and if we roll back a couple of months ago when they made an announcement, we found out that it's going to be 128 players. That's, a, that's 64 players on both teams. We usually only get maximum of 64 players on a map. So the maps obviously got to be bigger. And that's probably what he means with epic scale and all-out military warfare and crazy unexpected moments. That unexpected moments makes me think about the only in Battlefield moments that we've seen in the past for Battlefield 3, which made the game just so much better. So I'm really hoping what he means by the unexpected moments you can actually have some things that you can do that take gadgets or vehicles or anything outside the box and use it to a better gameplay experience. I really hope that's what he means with that. And if I had to really guess at what genre this is going to be, it probably more than likely is a modern shooter. That's the only way I can see it nailing all out warfare and giving us some unexpected moments with crazy destruction because you need all those gadgets in order to do some crazy things. But that's not all the news we got from it. That's not the only news we got from him. There's also a new Battlefield mobile game coming in 2022. So, all right, okay, let's just think about this. First of all, the more important thing is, this game in the article he mentions isn't 
being worked on by these studios. It's actually being worked on, on an, by another studio called Industrial Toys, and they are completely working on it as standalone. It has nothing to do with Battlefield 2021. And the last game that I saw that I honestly felt like was mobile was Battlefield Heroes. And that game felt like it was ahead of its time and just a fun experience. And I bet you guys watching this probably think it's a mobile game, but it wasn't. I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to create something that fell into this category. But even then, dude, mobile games, if you look at PUBG, that went mobile. If you look at Call of Duty, that also went mobile. And both of them have huge, massive player bases. And I think EA, wants to take a cut on that player base and just get in on that scene and create a Battlefield mobile game. And honestly, if it has no effect to the main game that we're gonna be seeing in 2021, by all means, bring it. It's gonna be something great to play when you're on the crapper, I guess. That's all the news we heard for the new Battlefield that is gonna be coming in 2021 and 2022, which honestly, I didn't expect them to drop a new mobile game. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and what you expect the next Battlefield to be, what year, what genre, and what you guys think this article means from how I just broke it down from everything we've seen in the past to now. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. That really helps me out, and I do appreciate it when you do. And if you haven't already, do subscribe because I'm going to be posting a lot of Battlefield content on all the news bits and game content that we're going to be getting. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.